internal brain radiation. I can feel the radiation from Chernobyl. I might get in trouble saying that, but man, in this game you can feel the radiation everywhere and the demons and the exorcists and all that occult stuff because this is infernal radiation and it's getting to my brain. And apparently an explosion happened on uh, Halloween Island in the game and it's due to a factory overheating which is an interesting setup for a game and you've been sent here on a mission to discover like what the heck happened. Um, the explosion not only killed people but it actually caused them to be possessed by demons. Now this is what you learn pretty much within the first five minutes to 30 minutes so it's not really a spoiler. So I'm going to end there without telling you too much. It's an interesting setup for a game and like the, the bubble, um, speech bubbles are a nice touch too. There's a lot of like interesting design choices. Uh, the fights really remind me of like the timed attacks and dodges from like Super Mario Brothers RPG. Uh, except unfortunately I feel like where it was fun and kind of novel back then, like in 96, uh, now it just feels like, you know, it feels like a chore here, like bash, I gotta bash this back, oh bash, and it's like, it just doesn't feel like a fine sort of gimmick, you know, and, and it's not optional, that's the difference between this and Super Mario RPG, Super Mario RPG, it was totally optional, you know, if you don't want to jump attack, just regular attack, it's fine, you know, and it makes it so that people that want to get the extra damage and take the extra risk can, and people that don't, and here it's not optional, so, um, you can fight back, as I said, and you knock the trigger buttons and fling projectiles uh, back towards the center. It sounds fun. As I said, it gets very tedious very quickly. Uh, people describe this game as a hardcore bullet hell. I don't really think it's a bullet hell in like a 2.5D environment. It's just kind of like ping pong meets, I don't know, um, like a creepy setting. I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely not a bullet hell in my opinion, but... Uh, the story is strange, the atmosphere is really creepy. I thought they did a really good job on that, to be fair. Like, original story, yeah, um, creepy back story. It just feels like, unfortunately, to get to the gist of it, it feels like an unfinished adventure game with, like, that fighting game quirk, which is kind of like Super Mario RPG. Uh, like a rhythm-based, like, quick times is what I came up with. Um, it's just a, that allows you to perform exorcisms on people that have been possessed. And it self sounds cooler saying it out loud than actually playing it for me, at least, unfortunately. The voice acting isn't that great. It's kind of like, you know, oh, we got someone in a booth, let's have them perform some voice acting. Uh, the edgy dialogue, it feels like it was poorly written. The story is very unclear as well, uh, unfortunately. I just felt like there was no compelling reason to keep playing after the very first fight. I was like, you know, I, I've reached my maximum with this game, unfortunately, and I just, I cannot continue playing. I just, I, I didn't have the incentive. Um, I just, something just really bothered me about the game, like the fact that the presentation seems unfinished. It just seems like temporary standing graphics, and they had to ship or something. Like, I, I hate bashing things, but it just, this didn't, like... It's, I'm surprised. Some people said they love this game, and I always saw this game going on sale constantly, so I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a shot. I tried it. Unfortunately, I regret it. Um, as I said, it's very unpolished, uh, uncompelling. It's great that someone's doing a game that's unique, and kudos for that, but the game's just too rough for me to, to rate it highly. So, I mean, the people that love this game, they must have played a different game than me. I'd have to give this 4 out of 10, like, it's just, I, I don't want to sound like a total jerk, but the ultimate takeaway was I actually stopped recording for a month because I got busy, and after playing this game, and I, I, I don't sound like a jerk saying that, but like, this game actually stopped me from <laughs> doing reviews, like it left this bad taste in my mouth, and take that as you will, keep on gaming, avoid the radiation. Don't, uh, don't, uh, start World War III. Thanks.